Top five. Now here, B and Jason is no easy job. Whoever said that it was. I mean, let's face it. Your mother is always in your ear. She was in your ear your entire life, always telling you what to do. Jason, do this. Jason, do that. Jason, don't go swimming. Right? Okay. Well, unfortunately, your mother dies, and it's tragic, okay? Nobody likes that, but let's be honest. Uh, you thought it was going to be for the better. And then, after your mother passes away, are you free and clear? No, these jerks keep coming to your camp, pissing you off, won't let you get any sleep, and then, on top of it, your mother's uh, dead voice is constantly telling you what to do. So yeah, you get cranky, okay? Now here, as you can see, people don't just want to die, they want to fight for their lives. You're going to spend a lot of time repairing doors and windows, let's just get used to it, okay? Now, as you can see in here, he's doing a very good job of hiding. But the axe through the door makes it where I don't ever need a key, and I have the key to get through anything. So here we have a little light chase. I put on the sensibility, and voila, it shows me because of how afraid he is where he's at. You walk up, you grab him. Is it time for him to go? Let's see. Let's see. Yes, it is. And just with a little bit of this and a little bit of that, you're now left with your lifeless corpse in the middle of the woods, and Jason's a happy guy. They deserve to Make them. Number four. Now this kill is a little bit of a, of a video, but we had to come from across the map. Now they were making so much noise and not taking very good care to be hiding or to use any of their stealth abilities that they were sending off these signals that I could easily find. So I swam across a little lake, hooked it up the hill, and here they are inside of this house. Now you can hear them talking. Uh, they're planning on um, bombarding me and ambushing me now that's not fair. Listen, they're on my property, right? It's like, I just want to have the weekend to myself. It's Friday the 13th. It's an anniversary of some sort for me. I just want to relax. So I go around the house and set down traps. Remember to always set down traps. These are good things. Now, you don't have to do them at the house. Most of the time now, I find myself putting them at the call boxes or the cars uh, or the boats. Any, any means of which they could use to escape, I try to sabotage those or at least make it a little more difficult. Now I walk the perimeter, check out the house, I see all the ins and outs. Now when I turn my sense on, it won't show me exactly where in the house they are, but it does let me know that they are in this house, as you can see. Okay, so now that I've got an idea where they are, it's time for me to use that world-famous key again. Hello, knock knock. It's Jason. By the way, uh, side note, I learned that going into combat mode by pressing down your right stick, pressing it in, you'll go into combat mode with either the counselor or Jason, and when you do so and you hit a door, it comes down faster. That little spin rooney you seem to do, that's also another little trick. When somebody's coming at you to hit you, do a spin rooney it tends to miss from their hit and allows you to uh, retaliate with an immediate hit of your own to catch them in the mix. Now you see, because I had a trap out there, they got stuck, and that allowed me to catch up with them. Now, she did land a very well-placed hit, which does stun Jason for the time being. But once you're back up, there you go. Follow their fear noises that they're making and catch up to them quick. Now, here was a situation I thought for sure we were going to have to drown her, but uh, it didn't go that way. She continued to run. And uh, they do run faster than you. As a matter of fact, some of the counselors even have perks that allow them to have like unlimited stamina, it seems. So the running is not always the option. Just look on the map where they go and try to get ahead of them and capture them where they are. Now, she's made a very big mistake, but she doesn't know it yet. She went into a house that has very weak doors. And I'm about to show you just how easy it is to get through them. Oh, Boom. You are in. So <laughs> here we are. We catch it. She's running upstairs. Uh, she should have already have been in her hiding place and probably could have done better, but since I'd seen where she was going, I knew that this was the place I had to go if I wanted to get the job done. These doors are also very weak. They break down much easier than the front doors. As you can see, there's that spinneroonie. She took a hit and missed, then you're able to grab them. Now this is where the kill will be placed. Everybody needs a hug? Ah! Ah! 
squeeze their death, and get out about my business. Stop, Jason. They deserve to die. And as you Make can hear once again, my mother is in my ears. Now for a little teleportation to find the other guy that was hidden inside the house. With a little luck, I'll catch him. We hear that the police have arrived, which means that most of the people are going to be trying to run to the cops now to escape. And this is a situation that happens often. Sometimes they get away, sometimes they don't. If you're lucky, you catch them on their way. So through here, once again, you can see there's little blips being sent off from the noise that this person is making, which makes it a little easier for me to find them. At this sense, as you can see at the bottom right part of the screen, I don't have the sensibility uh, filled up yet. It's the one that looks like an eye. Now it is filled, I can activate it, and it shows me exactly where he is. I can see his fear. Now it's just a game of spot, spider and fly. Sneak in on the prey and catch them. I'm some distance away. I use an ability which makes it quiet so it doesn't know I'm there. Swings and misses. Did the old spin a Rooney too. Watch out. Here it comes again. Swing and miss. You hit them. Now she's injured. Grab her. And it's about to be a bad day for her. Put your hands behind your back. Video number three. Now this is a very special day, Jason. This is the one that has uh, no mask. Instead, he's wearing like a potato sack. I catch this girl trying to escape. Just walk up, grab her, get down to business, move away from the boat. Now you see all my kills lit up. Select one. And it's night, night, Charlie. Down we go. Video number two. Totally different person. Same type of house scenario. We catch him. We give her a hit to weaken her. She tried to hit me. Hit her again. She's running down the way. The hit system's not always great. Grab her. Make sure I've got enough space. The kills light up. Activate. Hit to the head. And bing. Wing and a miss. <laughs> Don't Video number one. Now in this video you see there's multiple ways. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Falls to her knees and crank across the head with her axe. She will not be a problem to us anymore, but now watch out for other counselors. They can hit you and stun you. They want to hurt you, Jason. Make them Don't suffer. After being stunned, it's going to be the great chase again. There's multiple ways to do kills and uh, perform kills in this game, and uh, you've already seen a couple of them. Now, here's an example of when somebody's running from you. Now, you see they have some kind of perk. They're not giving off a bunch of sounds, so you got to kind of keep your eyes open. Use some common sense. She tried to use firecrackers to distract me. That didn't work. Now, she is one that's fighting, so... Rather than do a kill maneuver, you can actually just slash him to death with your axe. You don't have to do a kill animation. And uh, some people will get upset about this. They say it's kind of whack or, or weak. I say a win's a win's a win. The object of the game, if you're playing as Jason, is to murder every single counselor. If you do so, no matter the means, I say it's success. As long as you're not glitching or cheating, of course. Same for the counselors. Their job is to escape or to defeat you. If they band together and, you know, kill you, well, that's how you play the game. Now this technique here of killing the power, it adds fear to the counselors, making it easier to see them. Now this house is glowing red, so we know that she's in here. Now we just have to find her. She's struggling with a door, hoping that I'm outside running around trying to come in. She didn't know that I'd already come through the back. And this one I decided to do a kill animation where I press my thumbs into her eyeballs until she is dead. They deserve to die, Jason. Make them suffer. Now this here is a radio that I can turn on which will give the illusion that they're inside the house and it will draw my attention to it. I've just deactivated. Any kind of you can, anytime you can deactivate some of the distractions for yourself, do so. Make it where they can't activate them. Uh, that goes hand in hand with the traps uh, because you know they have some certain tools for themselves to make it uh, give them an advantage so they can leave or 
escape or, or gather against you or distract you so they can, you know, get away. Uh, it's a fairly uh, evened out game, in, in my opinion. Uh, some people are a little upset about the strength of Jason, but I would disagree with it. In all the movies, he was unstoppable. Oh, here we go, Tommy Jarvis. Uh, this unfortunate soul is also going to get the eyes gouged. And that's the end of them. Don't stop, Jason. And that is a multi-kill video. Well, this is Ray Death, thanks.